we are live um welcome back this is joe here again um flying on microsoft flight sim 2020 we are if i can so i just logging in on my laptop we have just completed stage or leg one of the denmark bush trip and we're about to start leg two um so just bear with me for a moment while I fire up my Xbox remote, because that's what we're going to be using. Wow, it's a long one. 38 minutes, 79 nautical miles. Um, I'm going to take in some lakes. Okay, so we're, this is one. Okay. Lakes and castles. Yeah, a dense. Cool, cool, cool. Then we land at Hans Christian Andersen Airport. Okay, very cool. All right, so that's the uh, the route. I'm um, going to start off heading northwesterly by the look of it, or at least, or west, southwest even, southwest. Right, and we are currently facing just southeast. So we will need to. Do a quick turn. All right. Yeah, let's get this thing flying and see how we go. Vroom, goes the motor. Disengage brake. And away we go. Oh, we only we are on the short end of the runway. But I think this plane's no problem going to take off on a very short run. Right, so we want to go southwest, do we? So 242. Let's start the clock. And um, let's get flying. Let's see what we find. Let's turn flat. Reduce the flaps, and around she goes. Oh, gone a bit too far. There we are, naughty, naughty, over. Bit of oversteer. Now we're on. Now we're on. Just some minor adjustments now. So head southwest for six minutes to this lake here. I think we'll go external. Let's punch that all the way down to V zero zero zero. Let's trim it. Thank you. Bring it down about eighty five percent. And it should be pretty stable. I was slightly off bearing, but not enough to really worry about. So yeah, we'll do a bit of sightseeing while we're up in the air. Denmark is a very much farmed land. Fields separated by hedgerows and trees. And it is flat. Very, very flat. There we go, leg two. So we've got to keep going for six minutes until we get to the water. Now, should see the water on our left hopefully initially and it'll come across us I can we drop a bit of engine it's cruise 80% just 
Just let the aircraft do its thing. This has to be the easiest plane I've uh, flown to date. It is remarkably benign. Just it's pretty straight and true. Well, we've meandered a bit offline there. So, looks like what was once a riverway and now is multiple ponds. Some small, I'm hoping that is that over there and this is where we're heading. This crescent shaped lake up here. Yeah, so we are just we're about here, just coming up to this cluster of lakes, and there's our target. We're doing fine. We're on the Joe train. Toot toot! Here we go. Seriously, just say that. Hello. <laughs> My wife has just come to join us. She's wondering who I'm talking to. Look, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I have all of eight followers so far. We've only just really kind of got into this thing. Wife keeps wondering who I'm talking to again. You giving up with the cold weather, Darrell? You giving up with the cold? My wife was sat in outside trying to pretend it's warm out there, but this is Melbourne. Warm one, one minute, cold the next. Right, so we're now coming over the lake. Uh, our POI is banging in the middle of the lake, so I think we're... Uh, so that's that little section there, so we're aiming for about there. So after that, we'll head 245 for 11 minutes. Jeepers. That's a long stint for, for this, and I've got to imagine 11 minutes, you pretty much cross all of Denmark. We're a little behind schedule, should have taken a 6.39, but we're 7.15, but I don't worry. Okay, let's start the clock. Two, four, five. Find the bridge. We'll be there in 11 minutes.
All right, I'm going to see how long I can go hands-free without autopilot. How long will the plane maintain this? Maintain this course. It's looking good. Looking very good. So we are heading to the Great Belt Bridge. So let's have a quick look at Wikipedia. See what we know about it. Great Belt Bridge. Okay. So the Great Belt Bridge, it is a multi-element fixed linked crossing the Great Belt Strait between the Dalish Islands of Zealand and Funen. Or Funen. Consists of a road suspension bridge and a railway tunnel between Zealand and the small island of Sprogel in the middle of the Great Belt and a box girder bridge for both and road and rail between Sprogo and Funen. Total length 18 kilometres. So, history. Originally, ferries entered service in 1883. And then a law was passed in 1973 to allow a bridge to be built across and was put on hold till 1978. The construction of the link started in 1988, blimey, bureaucracy, um, and in 1991, Finland sued Denmark on the grounds that the Finnish built mobile offshore drilling units would be unable to pass underneath the bridge. Good old Nokia. They negotiated financial compensation of 90 million krona. So when was it finished? No, finished in 1998. So started in 88 and finished in 98. Blimey. Slow going. Right. So let's go and see the bridge that took 10 years to build. And involved one country suing another. They'll say mobile drilling or mobile telecom. It was mobile drilling. Wouldn't be Nokia then. So, let's have a, a looky looky. So, we're coming past this lake here, over this one. Lakes with no name, as far as I know. I don't know what they are. Okay, so we are actually going to go the, the length of the bridge. We've just blown slightly too far west, so it's just correct. Right. There's still not a lot to see in the Danish countryside that really stands out. There's a lot of fields, some small towns, some woodlands, and many lakes. Now, so if the East Bridge is the fifth longest span in the world what are the longest longest bridges in the world wow okay so
Okay, the longest bridge in the world is actually 164 kilometres. It's a, rail, it's a railway bridge in China, another high speed rail in Taiwan, 157 kilometres. It's the Tianjin Bridge on the Beijing Shanghai high speed rail, 113 kilometres. So the Barnang Expressway is in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest bridge of 54k. Now this is 18 kilometres this one so it's fairly down, well down the list. I can't even see it. Yeah. Well there you go. Maybe the fifth longest span in the world, but it's not the longest bridge. Oh, we're a bit off course. So we can now start to see this inlet, call it an inlet. Oh, oh dear me, zoomed too far. Inlet or inland lake. Start to see it now up ahead of us, so we're bang on. Bang on course. 11 minutes is looking pretty good, we're 7 minutes into the flight. A poor little airplane chugging along. Airspeed of 116 knots. Just let it drop down a little bit. Closer to 1,500 feet. All right, I'm going to get nice and close to the bridge, so let's keep keep descending slowly down. We really are in no rush. Can't quite make out the bridge yet. One can only assume it can, is a continuation of this motorway here, which is going round and then launching out there. I don't think it's going to be this minor road.
Let's bring the speed up a little bit so you just level out flight. Right, Bridge, where are you? There it is. Let's drop down on it. Right, let's reset, we'll start again, follow the bridge. At two, four, five. So we don't quite follow the bridge. No, we do. Right, good. Right, so 11 minutes to get across this expanse of water. We had a fair PO 19s down there. Okay, so PO19 is Egeskov Castle, Europe's most well-preserved Renaissance water castle. Never even heard of it. Let's have a look. Okay, the castle structure was erected by Franz Brockenhus in 1554. The outside is late Gothic building. The inside original elements already show Renaissance design. It consists of two long buildings connected by a thick double wall, wall allowing defenders to abandon one house and continue fighting from the other. Hey, proper castle. So defenders were able to attack an enemy's flanks from the two round corner towers. 
Other medieval defences include artillery ports, scalding holes and arrow slits. Ah, scalding holes, lovely. Constructed out of monk's bricks, which are oversized medieval bricks. Interesting, eh? Well, there's not a lot to see over the sea. To see the sea is to see the sea. Yeah, I'll we'll keep chug chugging along at this 1200 foot. So we're crossing there, so a little bit too far east, but north even. We'll soon correct that. So our PRI, point of interest number 19, is right in the middle of a lake. That's PRA 9, not 19. Dope. But anyhow. I don't know if you saw that. The magic... Magic refill of fuel. Back to 100% fuel tanks. So, okay, look for this river. I have a feeling we're going to be north of it. I reckon we're crossing there. No, yeah, not too far off. Nevertheless, we've been going six minutes, six and a half minutes of our 11 minute leg. Plane's still holding up quite nicely. True as an arrow. Altitude's behaving itself. And I'm not actually having to touch the controls. Well, barely at all. I don't know if any of you out there are footy fans and managed to watch the AFL last night, Western Bulldogs, Brisbane. What a great game. What a great game. So tense. So tense. Just one behind in the end. So all you need is one point. Just hope the Bulldogs haven't lost too many players to injury or to concussion. 
Bontempelli looked a bit sore after the game and obviously Cody Waitman got a head knock. Be a shame to see them miss the prelim, but looks likely at this point. Right. Where is our river? Is this our river? Coursing its way, so I reckon we are just to the north of it, of where we want to be. Just a little correction. We're there. Just correct and then back on course. There's that little lake we're supposed to be going over. Is that our lake up there? I reckon it is. If I can see it from here, it's obviously reasonably sizable. So we've been 11 minutes, but we're not there yet. Is it?
Have we somehow missed it? Here we are. Here's our our lake. Here's our castle even. Whee! So we fly by. Buzz the castle. Right, there's our castle. We made it. Good job. Right, let's reset. We'll start. We're going three, four, four north. So what do we have at POI 10? We're going to the city of Edens, third largest metropolitan area of Denmark. So Edens means Odin Sanctuary, population 180,000 people. One of Denmark's oldest cities. We're a bit offline here. Well, not that far offline for crossing that waterway. Okay. Right, apparently events um, was first mentioned in a letter dated 18th of March 19, uh, sorry, 988 from the German Emperor Otto III. So it celebrated its thousandth anniversary in 1988. Wow. First recorded bishops of events were consecrated by the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1022. Middle Ages, a number of churches and monasteries were built in the town. And in 1247 it was burnt to the ground by Abel of Denmark during conflicts with his brother, King Eric. And the cathedral had to be completely rebuilt. I 
Well, that's some dark cloud overhead. All right. Could see the windmills are doing something. And all moving around, rotating, generating electricity. So we were going 4 minutes 30 on this leg of 6 minutes 40, so we must be getting pretty close to a dent. I would say this motorway runs to the heart of the city, so it probably bears round. And yeah, here we are, is this um, inlet that we're coming up to. Or is it this one here? Maybe this one. There's the city centre by the look of it. On the river. No, yeah, well, we're coming up to here. Good. And that is that other body of water just there. So we we have our navigation reasonably well sorted out. Yeah, looks like we are still not getting um, Bing maps correctly. Let me just make sure it's not a setting on my side. We should be getting it. Bing, 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 bing. Where is it? Not in there. Um. been turned off. I don't know why. It shouldn't have been like that. Online services unreachable. Yeah, disabled. Let me just uh, quickly... Oh, you are having a laugh. The game crashed. Got good internet connection. Okay, sorry about this. Um, we will be right back. Um, but for some reason, <laughs> went to the main menu, enabled online services again, and it just died on me. Just wait for flight sim to come back to life. Now, I'm a bit worried. If we continue, we'll lose the POI again. It's good to know where the points of interest are. Okay, so we are back. Let's go back. Oh, checking for updates.
Right. So we're just coming to the end of leg two when it um when it crashed on me. So looking at the Microsoft Flight Simulator forum, still a a banner on the top of the forum that says Bing Data Streaming. Some adjustments have been made, but it's still working on the issue. Still a known issue. Well, mine said it couldn't connect to a server, so. Definitely not a good sign. Right. Let's get back to the bus trip. Hopefully we don't lose the POI because of the crash. That happened to me in the Bordeaux to Mont Blanc bus trip. And the POIs on the um, VFR are pretty helpful. Give you a good idea of where you're heading. Right. So I wonder what it did do with data. Did it? So it's all turned on now. Okay. Yep. Appear to be alive. Right, we're on a server. It's a good start. Get to discover Denmark. So we're mid flight. I don't know quite where it's going to put me. So we're very, very close to our arrival at Olberg. Um, sorry, not Olberg. Odense. So, once this finishes loading, here we go. Right, I don't know where we're going to be. Right. We are heading north. And where do you reckon we are? Don't actually know. And it crashed again. Hmm. How frustrating. Hold on.